One of the best kept secrets of successful branding is the power of community. One of the strongest ways to drive growth is through the K factor, a fancy way of describing the growth rate of websites and measuring their reality. I put a link down with the description. Okay, once you have plenty of people in your referral network working to add another person, your brand's exposure increases exponentially. Instead of you needing to directly generate awareness, you can let your network handle the heavy lifting. I mentioned this in one of my previous sessions, which I'll link up there. Now, according to a McKinsey study, word of mouth can generate more than double the sales of paid advertising. This is 5 Minute Friday, so join me as I simplify the complexity of maximizing tribe market. What's up everybody, Arndt Eriksson here with yet another 5 Minute Friday. Here's what I need you to do. Number one, subscribe. Number two, give it a thumbs up or smash it if you so desire. Number three, leave a comment below or connect with me on Twitter or Instagram. It's at Arndt Eriksson everywhere. Let's just jump into it. Thanks to the current global economy, products and services are available to anyone, anywhere, at any time. And it is currently underpriced. However, it's nearly impossible to strike gold based solely on price and product. You need a community of supporters to cover your flank before you go charging into battle. This is the reason influencer marketing has exploded. And it is expected that Instagram influencer marketing will hit 2 billion by 2019. Remember what I said in the episode called How to Build a Brand? A brand is only as strong as the people who know it and has an emotional perception of the brand. Now, many people confuse loyalists and brand advocates. Brand loyalists and advocates aren't the same group of customers. Loyal customers are people who stay with your brand. For example, if you run an e-commerce store, loyal customers will be your return buyer. But they might not actively promote your brand to others. Meaning, they might not be comfortable with sharing information about your brand publicly. Advocates, on the other hand, are people who are not only loyal to your brand, but also proactively talk up and advocate for your company to their own network. The word proactive is key here. Advocates invest in the success of your brand heavily. The goal is to turn brand loyalists into brand ad advocates. Your existing customers are the most apparent advocates for your brand. However, your customers are not only advocates. Your best brand advocates are the people who work for you, your employees. Communications marketing firm Edelman found that 52% of consumers view employees as very credible sources of information about a brand. So how to encourage advocacy and maximize your tribe? Well, getting customers to advocate for your brand is a lot different from getting them to buy your products or services. People don't become advocates and part of your tribe without reason. Let me explain. It's important to remember no tribe is stagnant. People's views and opinions are constantly changing and it's likely that the original tribe you started targeting may split into smaller micro-tribes. One thing I always end my presentations on stage with is the fact that the only constant is change. You need to be aware of these possibilities and evaluate what the future consumer landscape will resemble and how consumers' fundamental needs will change over time. Here are some tips on how to maximize your tribe marketing. Number one, stay focused. Trying to be everything to everyone will make you nothing to anyone. Start by doing one thing better than anyone else for a well-defined group of people. When someone asks what you do, be prepared to discuss one thing that you have truly mastered. By keeping the conversation simple and focused, you ensure that your companion remember your brand as the go-to company for your speciality and knows you're not trying to be jack of all trades. Number two, become a storyteller. Don't see yourself as a budding Mark Twain? That's okay. Storytellers come in all shapes and sizes. There are even online platforms where you can learn this ancient art form. Aim to connect on a human level by sharing tales and creating influential content that illustrates your business. Remember, the most effective content is relevant to its intended audience and tells a compelling story. Number three, be yourself. People value authenticity in real relationships. It is what separates true friends from mere business contacts. While you don't need to become best pals with everyone you meet, open up and truly get to know the people you're spending time with. Be honest enough to let them know you too. 
Number four, make networking a team effort. It is important to encourage your team members to network. Effort to forge a strong community are sometimes more valuable than time spending sitting in front of a computer. Rather than worrying about people getting poached or having less time to get work done, understand that the benefits of expanding your company's network far exceeds the cost. Number five, offer assistance to everyone without expecting anything in return. When was the last time you sincerely asked someone if you could lend a hand? This is networking 101, but people rarely offer to help one another. Over the years, I always asked, how can I be of service? These small acts of kindness add up and people don't forget the favors extended to them. Pushing people towards a particular type of action typically results in them doing the opposite. Don't try to force advocacy. It should be completely natural. The reward for brands that connect with customers' emotion in a positive way can be substantial. People love to talk about products that make them happy. Tribe advocacy is always a risky business. When discussing a company, advocates are putting their reputation on the line. They know that if something goes wrong, people will blame them for it. But one thing can alleviate those fears. Trust. The more they trust you, the more easily they would recommend your product. So, since you are building a brand, be sure to think about how you can piece together your tribe. Regardless of the direct benefits to you, connect with people in your network who can add value to one another. These triadic relationships will help you build a powerful network of brand loyalists. Stop worrying so much about your logo and start building your tribe. And you'll end up with the most powerful marketing tool of them all. Well, that's the end of this 5 Minute Friday session. Thank you for giving me your time and attention. I do hope I managed to inform, enlighten and entertain you. If you like this video, please consider giving it a good thumbs up and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. It actually makes a difference. Next Friday, the topic will be brand leadership. Until then, be safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you next Friday. Thank you.